Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. We hope your um, middle of the week is starting off right with us right here. I'm Jeremy Rabe. I'm Maddie Conklin. And it is going to start off right. I think that's your go-to pose. Mine is more like this. Hi. I'm more like just Jeremy. <gasps> just Jeremy. <laughs> just Jack. I'm just Jeremy. Just Jeremy. Hey, guys. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm just Jeremy. And I'm just Maddie. There we go. There you go. Sorry. Happy Wednesday. We're Goodness. midway through the week. I know we, we kind of do this every now and again. How is your week going? Fast, slow, maybe? Um, <clears throat> here's the thing. I'm trying to stay positive, but I just feel like starting today, now until Sunday is just busy. So I'm just like, oh. Usually I'm like looking forward to the weekend to relax. And I'm just like, nope, got things to do. We got things to do. We got do. things to do. It's just People busy. to see. It's just busy and there's action. It's action packed. Action packed. Um, I was going to say, Things to do, people to see, babies' heads to sign. You know that from uh, that that Ballad of Ricky Bobby where he just signs oh, the baby's yeah. head? Have you ever given an autograph? Because I have not. And I always used to practice as a little kid. Yes. So you have? Yes. Okay. Now, was it like memorabilia? Was it a photo of you? Was it just like it a piece was, of paper? Well, when I had my craft show mm -hmm. here in town locally, uh, we had a studio audience. Yes. So the studio audience, we had pictures so at the end of every at the end of every taping of the show I would sign photos for them well how fun is that it was very fun and they're very sweet and it's very odd when people now will post photos like flashback like hey look what popped up in my timeline and it's an old picture of me that's signed I'm like I look so young <laughs> so what young happened? and full of hope it's full of dreams well I feel like the art of autographing is kind of dead yeah I prefer sadly not. Mm -mm. it's more so now if you get the selfie because if you don't have a selfie, Absolutely. it didn't happen. But Absolutely. I, I want to go back to the days of maybe a selfie and an autograph. But I've listened to many a comedian podcast, and they hate doing autographs because they're like, who they're cares? Dead. They're dead. Although <laughs> Kelly Clarkson did just talk about on her show the other day about how she was in the bathroom in a stall, and somebody slipped a piece of paper and a pen underneath the stall to have her autograph it while she was in the restroom. Who does that? That's one way to get an autograph. <laughs> I was like, what? Here, can you no, just to say me, it? I would much rather have a photo with the person than an autograph. Because mm -hmm. now everyone, me. I think, with AI and Photoshop, you can forge basically everything, you know? Wait, wait, wait you know what? Huh? Like, you could just Photoshop, like, oh, I got Jay Leno's but autograph. You could also Photoshop yourself in with Jay Leno. Well, that's true. That's what I'm saying. The, the autograph means sword. nothing, because anybody could have signed that, though. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, anybody, you could have signed Jay Leno. I'm like, look, I got Jay Leno's signature. That's true. To me, how do you know it's really their signature? You never told me that story, either, uh -huh. when you went to go interview him. So Oh, yeah. I was, was in L.A. a few years ago for the Critics' Choice Awards. Okay. And he has a show. He had a show here on Fox, um, You Bet Your Life. Okay. So we knew his PR people, so I reached out and said, hey, I'm going to be in L.A. for the Critics' Choice. Could I interview Jay? And they were like, yeah, he's right, getting ready to start filming um, Jay Leno's Garage. Mm -hmm. Could he meet at his garage in, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name Hidden of the Hidden Hills? Now. Is it all the way out in Calabasas, past Calabasas? It was quite a little Uber drive to there. But okay. It's, it's two giant warehouses. Yeah. Giant. Mm -hmm. Full of cars. <gasps> and I was like, and what's crazy is, so I'm trying to find, I had, I'm at the wrong gate. I'm calling his publicist. Oh, yeah. Trying to get to the right gate. And finally we got in. Jay walks out of his thing, opens the gate for me. I'm like... What is so down to earth, so nice. And I mean, like, it is his property. <laughs> I know, but he has people. Yeah, that's you true. You would think he has people. <laughs> that's true. So he walked me in. He takes me to one warehouse, shows me around. He's like, yeah, what are you guys thinking? What do you want to do? Blah, yeah. blah. Go to the other warehouse. So we're like kind of setting up, and then he disappears for a few minutes, and I'm just like, like 20 minutes. I'm like, should we go get him? Should we not? And I walked into the warehouse, and he's like, oh, I was just chatting. Didn't know if you were ready for me or not. I'm like, anytime. Love it. In. Yeah, and then we do the interview, and we spend like an hour afterwards just talking. Real quick, did you get to sit in any of the cars? No, I did not sit. Okay. No. All right. Did well, not, but he's very nice. Next time you're out there, that's your goal. Yeah. <laughs> very down to earth, Jesse and Angela. He's a very nice guy, very down to earth, very real. Gave me all the time in the world. He was wow. Good. And as soon as I left, he was the huge production team for Jay Leno's Garage was outside setting up. And I'm like, and yeah. here he's just talking to me. Oh, there you that's go. so cool. He and David Letterman are the last two great late night hosts yeah. for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not huge on any of them right now. I mean, Jimmy Fallon's okay. But, yeah. Um, not a Colbert guy. No, me neither. Not oh, a Colbert really? guy. I don't know. Aww. I'm not. I'm Wait, not up late enough like to watch. Him. Okay, is it Colbert, <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel? I'm not a fan of Kimmel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can take or Colbert. Kimmel. Who else? Yeah, yeah. Fallon. Fallon. Yeah. Uh, it was Trevor Noah, but that's oh, all like I a group of four Trevor people Noah. now, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then John Oliver last week tonight. Oh, there you go. I like John Oliver. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I think that's else yeah. it. I guess like the late late shows. Yes, who's got that? Now? Taylor Tomlinson. Oh yes, right? Taylor Tomlinson. Yes, the, the late late show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and that's after Colbert, right? Yeah, the yeah. comedian turned uh, 
host. So. Well, okay, I'm just saying this. Charlie, you are so quiet in her ears, and I have you blasting in here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I can't Shuffles. hear any of these cues. <laughs> Scream okay. them cues. Get to headlines Shuffles. once again. <laughs> can't All hear right. nothing. Here's something that'll uh, definitely take your attention off of whatever it is uh, you should be paying attention to. Have you seen these robot dogs? I sound like Jerry Seinfeld oh, trying to do yes, like a bit. I'm not Have you seen these robot dogs? <laughs> a little I yellow, love these like robot Boston dogs. Dynamics robot dogs. So we've seen a lot of them over the last few years. Uh -huh. Now the team at Boston Dynamics are making their robot dog, the one named Spot that they have, look a little bit less menacing. We'll, we'll say. So the one on the right, that's what it looked like, you know, when they built it. But they put <laughs> some fur on this thing on the left. So it's got a little makeover here. The company says it's just a, custo a custom costume designed just for Spot to explore the intersections of robotics, art, and entertainment. And a commenter on the YouTube video says, uh, we've finally done it. Humans have invented a dog. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of the Charmin bear. Yeah, that's oh, coloring. Yeah. yeah, the blue or bear in the big blue house, maybe? Is that what I'm asking? It, oh, it's kind I of an amalgamation yeah, yeah, of yeah. bear. Clifford and um, the Charmin guy. Yeah, man. To me, it looks like a Muppet came to life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, I, I don't understand that. Why didn't at least give him some paws, though? Yeah, it's still got the robotic yeah. legs of you it. Know. So it's like, right. you're not full it's of You're right. You might as well just finish it all out. It could be. Oh. Yeah. Could be. Seriously, yeah, because it has to do with how. Yeah. It's so much more complex than to give a paw and then to put something on top of that and then it would fall over. But it's a robot. You know everything. Isn't there a, a movie? Out there that tells us why this is a bad idea, isn't it? With Will Smith, yeah, I, think I robot, so. oh, I, I, I robot, I robot. Yeah, I, I, robot. I just think it's, just, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan. I don't, I don't like it. I robot, Wally, Wally, Terminator. Oh, yes. does anybody remember the movie Number Five Alive from the '80s? No, the no. Robot. Was it good? Oh my not? gosh! I would hope it's not, not a good movie, and then like that'll make me want to watch it more. <laughs> It's a robot who comes to life. He's like, number five, alive. <laughs> number five, alive. About, oh, I don't like circuit. that either. Short circuit. Short I'm not circuit. a fan. Yes. Gizmo, no. Gizmo, is that its name on short circuit? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. You know what else I'm not a fan of? I'm not a fan of this story either, guys. I don't like feet. So our next that. story, Jason <laughs> Hernandez has the world record for the largest feet on Earth. The seven foot two Venezuelan wears a size 26. What? Yes, yes, his savior. Look at this fella. Look at this. So he's a, his savior is a German shoemaker, George Wessels, who has been making custom footwear for Hernandez for years. Last week, Wessels traveled to Venezuela to make his latest delivery of three new pairs of shoes for his special client. Aww. Look at that. That's a sweet story. I love yeah. the story. This guy, it, it he's got to have a hard just, time finding uh, footwear. Like or clothes or anything. Yeah. That'd be tough. I know. It is all very heartwarming. Like, I love that he helps him out. That's great. But I don't know. 20, that's a big wow. yeah, That's Bigfoot. I don't like that. From life. Yeah. Not that he's not real or anything, Bigfoot. I'm not saying that, folks. <laughs> right, like, Bigfoot wait. may be real, for all I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I watch enough uh, like paranormal caught on camera, and Bigfoot's mm -hmm. a part of that. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, when we, I, I lived in Maine, we had a Bigfoot museum. Yeah. Bigfoot was like seen a lot in New England out in the Maine woods. If aliens are floating around, Bigfoot's definitely right. And around. I believe mermaids you know, are real see, too. I'm a big fan sirens. His, right. I want to see his parents. I want to see like how genetically <laughs> yeah. that came about. Came about. Probably to under come, six feet. That's what I was going to say. They're probably like my height. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> you know what? The they genetics are so yeah. weird like that. It is. All of a sudden yeah. you have, so you know, true. Uh, my family all have brown eyes, and me and my sister are the only ones that have the big blue eyes. We don't know where it comes from. I think very long down the gene. Strange. Bit, really yeah. Strange, but it's crazy how it is, Aren't blue eyes recessive genes? Yes. Yes. Because my dad has brown, my mom has mm. green, and all three of my, my brothers, my two brothers have blue. Blue. Yeah. Huh. So we're it's just very weird. And I feel like Tom Schmidt has blue eyes. Do, do you, you have Tom? blue eyes? No, Tom's got hazel, I think. Oh, you have, oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, he does He's have blue, blue eyes. He does. Here, can you see him now? Oh, and now Tom, I can. I think your eyes are like mine, where they like change with different shades of blue, and I forgot you're right behind some Comic blue. Comic chameleon. I, I have a gray, <laughs> or gray eyes. Yes. Gray eyes. Oh. <laughs> Well, we better get those checked. <laughs> we get those yeah. checked. Let's check the weather first. <laughs> good idea. Let's use these eyes for something good.